Stephen Klimas, um, yoga teacher and architect, and I was really proud to be a part of the Texas Yoga Conference because I think that um, the mission of what we were trying to do here, which is to um, protect the rights of yoga teachers and the and the word of mouth tradition of yoga. I mean, that's that's what it really boils down to. Um, this seems to me like a, a money grab by the state in hard financial times to go after um, something like yoga studios. Um, yoga is a, a tradition, not a trade. And um, to that end, and, and all Texas has to do is look at the balance sheet of the average yoga teacher and see that there's probably not much there worth taxing. I mean, some, some yoga studios don't even accept payment for, um, for teacher training uh, because it's something that comes from the heart. It's not really something that is um, a huge business. Not that people don't make a living at it, but it's not a big business. And I think the state of Texas needs to keep their hands off of it and out of the regulation of it um, because, gosh, we've been doing a good job for the past 4,000 years. I think we can continue to do a pretty good job.